time stack is a great reminder that you should love your name. And today is a wonderful day to start. It's a full stack framework or an unborn baby of the 10 stack collection promised to be the future king of SSR. Why don't you just get out of here? Probably after things happen to Next.js, but is 10 stack a better choice? Personally, I think nowadays with each Next.js version, the changes are all over the floor, which makes it hard to fucking migrate to the new version. And documents are updated almost 8 months after. In my opinion, we need to have some competition. Recently, 10 stack query has been added to Vite as a setup choice. At first look, start feels closer to vanilla React, where you can choose how much of the server side stuff you need, or how much you wanna opt into it, which makes it easier for React and backend developers to jump into 10 stack without knowing extra magic or without being a stack and this works both ways it has type safe routing for auto completion server functions to interact with the server and built-in router cache to immediately load the page and much more I wanna spend my life savings on this. Try not to ask the AI anything, because right now it's like a cashier who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I said I'm peeing. But let's have a quick start. We use this example in the documents where we do a manual configuration. But I care for you, so I did all those steps and added the code to GitHub. You can use it until we get something like this. After cloning, you don't even have to do too much. You can run the project with just a touch. When you start the project, you will see this page alongside with this auto-generated file. As you can see here, you can't touch this. We got a root file similar to layout in Next.js, we got SSR, and a client file to hydrate our app with the server. But what we care about is this index file where our beautiful UI is being rendered. In here we got our server functions, route declaration, and finally our component. In the route we got this loader which takes a function that gets called before we render the component. You might even notice that you, you can't touch this. We can also handle metadata, error, and loading components in the route. But the cool thing is when you create a new file in the route, it automatically configures it for you once you have the project up and running. Use dynamic routes by adding a dollar sign before the name of the file. Everything seems cool and like I said, there is no magic behind it. If you have any comments, like this video, thanks to your eyeballs and this part of your brain. Seriously, thank you and have a good day.